In this video, we're going to cover 10 typical problems you might find on your nursing entrance exam. These include converting one unit into another, decimals, inequalities, percents, algebra, and other topics. You want to get the best score you can get, so make sure you learn all the topics talked about in this video. Let's take a look. So this first one says, how many liters are there in 2,790 milliliters? So basically we're changing it from milliliters to liters. So we look at the metric system, you know, we've got our base unit that can be liters, grams, anything like that. It's our base unit. If we divide by 10, we have deci, that's like deciliters. If we divide by 100, we get centi or centiliters. And if we divide by 1,000, we get milliliters. Now, if we multiply by 10, we get decaliters, deca. Multiply by 100, we get hecto, hectoliters. And multiply by 1,000, we get kiloliters. So if we're starting at milliliters, and once we want to convert to liters, we have to move it one, two, three places to get to liters, our base unit. So if we get 2,000, 790. Right now our decimal point is at the end here. And we're going to move it three places to the left. One, two, three. That's going to give us 2.790. And typically that last zero is not significant, so we're going to leave it off. Just to give you 2.79 liters. So if you're converting from a lower unit to a higher unit, you're going to have less of it. So here we had 2,790 milliliters. We're going to have less liters. This one says they withdraw from a savings account left two sevenths of the original amount, which of the decimals is approximately equal to two sevenths. In order to do this, we really need to do long division. So this is basically saying two divided by seven. So any kind of fraction is really saying division, two divided by seven. And when we do long division, we have the denominator, the one on the bottom on the outside, and then the numerator, the one on top on the inside. Okay, so first you say, how many times does seven go into two? And two is too large, so it's gonna be zero times. And since we had no numbers left underneath our division sign here, we put a decimal point up here, and then we add a zero here. Now we say how many times does seven go into 20? Okay, so seven times two is 14, seven times three is 21, 21 is too high, so we gotta go with two. Two times seven is 14, right that underneath here. Now you do 20 minus 14, that leaves us with six. So we look at our answer choices, they go to two decimal places. So we need to go to three decimal places so we can end up rounding. So now here I need to tack on another zero and bring that down. So how many times does seven go into 60? So at this point, you really need to know your times tables. So seven times eight is gonna be 56. So that's gonna be the closest to 60 without going over. So 60 divided by 56 leaves you with four. And I'm just gonna do one more. Okay, bring the zero down. How many times is seven going to 40? So I'm gonna go with five to give us 35. So now I'm gonna stop, I got 0 0.285. Now when you're rounding to the hundredth, the second position where the eight is, you look behind it. If it's five or higher, you're gonna round up the number in front of it. So this is five, so that means the eight will go to nine, so 0 0.29. So answer choice C. So this one says, if the replacement set for X is a set of positive integers, and the solution set for 2x minus 3 is less than or equal to 7 is. OK, 
Okay, so this deals with inequalities. Our goal here is get the x by itself so we know what values of x are sufficient for the answer. So we're going to take our 2x minus 3 less than or equal to 7. Okay, so when you solve these, these are like equations, I need to do the opposite. So to get rid of this, subtract 3 minus 3, I need to add 3 to both sides. These are with 2x. So less than or equal to 10. Okay, our next step here is to get rid of the 2 in front of the x. So this is 2 times x, so the opposite will be division by 2. I'm going to do it to both sides. So x is less than or equal to 5. Okay, so our answer is any number that's less than or equal to 5. And it has to be a positive number. So I'm going to start with 1, let's include 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we can't go to 6 because 6 is not less than or equal to 5. So we're going to stop at 5. So our answer choice B would be the correct answer. And this one says simplify 5 minus 3 times the quantity x minus 2y. So the key to solving this one is to distribute this negative 3 in front of the parentheses. So you're going to do negative 3 times x and negative 3 times negative 2y. And please don't forget the negatives. That's usually a common mistake people make. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 2y. Two negatives give you a positive when you multiply. So it's going to be positive 6y. And just bring down the 5. Okay, so at this point, there's no like terms. We have an x term, negative 3x, and we have a y term, 6y. Those are not the same variables to the same power, and 5 doesn't have any variables. So once you have no like terms, you're done. So this answer is 5 minus 3x plus 6y. This one says 24 is 40% of what number? So for these type of problems, I like to set up this little proportion. So it's is over of is equal to the percent over 100. Okay, so this says 24 is, so our is goes on top. And goes of what number? So it's an unknown value, so it can be replaced with a variable x. We have 40%, so it's gonna be 40 on top here, and then 100 on bottom. Now we're gonna solve this by doing cross multiplication. So that means it's gonna be x times 40 is equal to 24 times 100. Okay, so x times 40 or 40x, I think it's the 24 times 100, or 40x, I think it's the 2400. And then you get the x by itself and divide by what's in front of it, so 40. So x will equal. 60. Now to do the actual division, you can take 2400 divided by 40. Now anytime you have zeros at the end, they can cancel out. So that reduces down to 240 divided by 4. Now you know 4 can go into 24 six times. I'm just going to look at that right now. So that's going to be 6, and you just bring down the 0. So that's going to be 60. So that's the quick way to divide that. Most of these problems, the math should be fairly simple. It shouldn't be anything too complex. So this is a shortcut way to do the division.